Even from a young age, we knew Neil was different. He stood out, always doing something different and somehow more special than the rest of his friends. He just had talent and skills they didn't have. We just felt that he had an uncanny ability to focus much more than other children. And so we have really tried to be 100% supportive of him over the years in all his competitions and in all that he's accomplished, which is very much. We know that he is going to go far and do great things. Competition, T minus six hours. The night before a competition, it is extremely important to get at least 10 hours of sleep. This relaxes my eyes and is a simple foundation for winning a match. I usually do breathing exercises when I first wake up to get my blood flowing and myself pumped. Carrots are a major factor in the winning process as well, and 20 carrots per meal per day of the competition is a must. Other foods like broccoli, pepper, turkey, salmon, and sweet potato are eaten in the weeks leading up to competition. Some people lose big competitions because they don't get enough nutrients or they don't sleep enough or they, they don't use proper protection. Some people don't use sunglasses. They don't eat enough carrots before a big match. Some people are on their iPhones or computers too much. A tactic I like to use is to put matchsticks underneath my eyes. It uh, helps me get more familiar with keeping my eyes wide open. At first, it might hurt a little bit, but that's, that's all good. No pain, no gain. Neil is so cute.
cute, especially when he's competing. He's all like focused and determined. And then when he's done, then he wins because he always wins. He's all. <laughs> mm. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the 10th annual Stare Down Championship. This is Brad Bolderon, Ms. Haley Stevens, and a challenger, Neil Beverly. This is probably the most competitive field I've seen in the 10 years of this Stare Down Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, the match opens with Beverly and Stevens in a dead stare. This is an amazing clash of titans. And, and it's Beverly. We're into the second round. If Beverly wins this, it's over. If Stevens takes it, we go into the final round. Neil and Haley, Beverly and Stevens staring at each other. Oh, up, up. Oh, it's close. And it's Haley Stevens taking the second round. Beverly blinking unexpectedly. That That is a surprise to me, folks. I have never seen a champion blinked that early. Haley Stevens taking the second round. This match is tied. We go into the final and third round in just a few moments. I am I'm really surprised at how fast this went down. We could be in for a real change in the third round. Stay with us. I need to go get my lucky shirt. All right, folks, welcome back. This is the final round in the 10th annual Stare Down Championship. Folks, I'm telling you, this is a dead stare. I just saw Haley Stevens blink. Neil Beverly is your new, once again, world champion, and he's once again dominated the Stare Down competition. When you work really hard at something and you feel it in your soul, it can, you can make anything happen if you try hard enough and if you work hard enough at it. And it feels great to be a champion, a stare down champion. Father.